Kante, that was a superb 2-1 win against Darlington today. Coming from behind as well, you must be absolutely thrilled with that. Yeah, we're all obviously we're really, really pleased with the result, pleased with the performance. Um, challenge before the game was to the players, you know, top of the table, away from home. Can you rise to it? And I thought to a man they did. I thought we were well worth the victory in the end. Um, first half possibly should have had more goals, had some decent chances first half. Second half, when we needed to, we defended well towards the end of the game. We'd already made subs, we had uh, we had people going down with cramp, we had bodies on the line and, and we defended the box really, really well. Um, so yeah, really pleased. You can tell it was two teams that were towards the top end of the table, a really high quality game and obviously going behind inside the first half hour. How important was it to, to bounce back and to get that equalising goal before the break and what was your message at half time to the lads? Yeah, I mean, it, I think for me it just shows the character of the group. You know, we um, I felt we started the game reasonably well. I thought we were the better team early on. I felt their goal was against them when I play a little bit, but the character in the group, you know, it doesn't phase them. We, you know, we keep going, we keep trying to do the right, right things. Scored a really good goal, um, great move down the left hand side, good finish from Tom, um, and I think we deserve to go in at least level at half time. Like I said, there's some other chances in there, first half we, we could have taken. So, message at half time was again a little bit more belief in possession. Um, I think we could have played out from the back a little bit more. I think we went too long, too early, which played into their hands a little bit. Having said that, the lads did say to me, first half, the sun was literally right in their eye line and they couldn't even see. So, fair enough. I gave them my excuse. But second half, I thought we played more football. Um, deserved to get the 2-1 lead. After that, obviously, they're going to come back into the game. They're going to throw the kitchen sink at it. You know, when they're a threat, they've got some. You know, they've got some threats up there. Beck's a real handful. Um, they've got Lambert off him as well, Hazel. So they've got some threats, but we defended them really well. I'm proud of them. Obviously, the uh, one concern that we'll have is uh, Tom Walker coming off towards the end of the first half. Obviously, got the got the <coughs> goals, working really, really hard, playing really well. And uh, mm. how is he first and foremost? And what sort of where is he? Where is he at? Yeah, obviously disappointed with it. He was, you know, he, he started the game. Not great, if I'm honest, but then as, as it went on, he was building into it and he did look a real threat on the left-hand side. Obviously, he got his goal. Um, he just felt a little tweak in his hammy, so you can't really mess about with these things. You've just got to play safe and get him off the pitch. And In Luke Conlon, we had a really, really good sub, good sub to go on and take his place, and I thought second half, Conn's played really well. Rowie, obviously, towards the end, picked up a knock as well, so we had to make another sub, um, and it left us a little bit well with nowhere to go at the end when Luke Charm was going down with cramp and, and, and people were sort of fading badly but we hung on in which is which is real good character. And a quick word as well we've obviously spoke about the collective team but the uh, the individual performance of Amika Obi obviously coming in for one of his uh, first few appearances of the season up against someone like Mark Becky as mm. I said a real handful and in his best form of his career he must be absolutely delighted with how Meeks did today. Well again that was that was a challenge to Meeks. Um, Mark Beck, real good player at this level, real threat can you rise to it and he did um, as a group we rose to the challenge today as individuals we did I thought Meeks was excellent I thought he handled Beck really really well um, yeah and like I said to a man really really pleased with that performance I think everybody stepped up the game and like I said we could have possibly had a few more goals first half but the character of the group showed was excellent you know to come back from a goal down disappointingly because I thought we had the better start to the game and then to hang on in at the end, uh, where they are chucking, chucking everything at you, and they've got some you know, some handfuls up there. Um, really, really pleased. Obviously, after a fantastic result in the league, it's now two cup games in a row, FA Cup Correct, and FA yeah. Trophy. And how do you sort of transition between the mindset between preparing for a league game and a, and a cup game? Well, we, we just focus on the game in hand. So, full focus was on Darlington. Now that's done. Straight away, we've had our little debrief as we do, and then as normal. On the bearer of bad news, right lads, right on the pitch doing a cool down because we've got a game Tuesday and it's a really big game and it's a game we want to go into full of confidence, we will do after today, we want to go into as fresh as we possibly can so we're going to recover properly and professionally and it's a game that we're looking forward to, it's a real good game for the club, it's another challenge for the group, today was a challenge, that'll be a different challenge going away to a league team but again one that I think we're in a good place at the moment and one that I'm expecting us to rise to.